Welcome to the Vesper service at the Palmasia Presbyterian Church for Palm Sunday evening, April the 5th, 2020. Let us be called to worship with Psalm 118, the traditional psalm for Palm Sunday. Give thanks to the Lord who is good, whose mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, the mercy of the Lord endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, the mercy of the Lord endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim, the mercy of the Lord endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, therefore I will not fear. What can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in rulers. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They hem me in. They hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. There is a sound of exaltation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Those who are righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you for you answered me and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day, the Lord has acted we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord who has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord who is good, whose mercy endures forever. Let us pray. Holy and mighty God, your sons triumph over sin and death has opened to us the gate of eternal life. Purify our hearts that we may follow him and share in the radiance of his glory. We ask this for the sake of our risen Lord. Amen. The Gospel reading for this Sunday comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble 
and mounted on a donkey and on a colt the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in a turmoil asking, who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. In chapel at Vespers, we always lift up our prayers as you have shared them with us. This evening, I'll begin with the prayer requests that have been assembled and sent in, and then we'll share together in a period for your silent prayers, and we'll close with the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray together. Almighty God, we know that you are the creator, and because the creation is your handiwork, we know that it is good, and we thank you for the gifts of creation. But in this season, O oh Lord, we lift up to you our hearts and our prayers because of the illness that encompasses the whole world. We pray for those who are sick and ask that you would pour out your healing power upon them. We pray for those who are caring for them, doctors and nurses, respiratory therapists, first responders, scientists, public health officials, hospital administrators, those who work to keep the hospital clean and operating. O oh Lord, we lift up all caretakers, those who work across the day and those who work across the night, exposing themselves to the danger and the illness. We ask that you would protect them and strengthen them and use them as a means of your healing the sick. We pray for any with any illness, Lord, and lift up for your healing power the illnesses that those who share in this prayer are carrying in their hearts and minds for themselves and for others. Lord, in this season when the economy is so distressed, we pray for those who have lost their jobs and for the poor, for those who now are worried about where shelter or food or income will come from. We pray for children, Lord, and ask that you would help them, keep them safe, keep them healthy, and surround them with caretakers who have extra patience, extra strength, extra ability to watch out for the vulnerable and the little ones. In some way, send your spirit upon them to make this a season of happiness and closeness and special care for them. Particularly, we pray for children who are in harm's way, those who are in desperate circumstances. Lord, we lift up our prayers, remembering how Jesus said, let the children come to me and receive them. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings that are around us, even as we pray in intercession. We pray for the members of this congregation and community who are sick. Especially, we pray for your blessing on Nelson Gigliardo and his family, his wife, Amy, and their children, and Amy's mother, Beverly Austin. Pour out your healing power on Nelson and all in their home. We pray, O oh Lord, for any who are struggling with uh, the fear of illness, for the anxiety and worry that accompanies this season. We ask that you would help us to make good choices and to do what is good for loving our neighbor and enable us also to be an example of that to others. Give us the gifts of kindness and generosity even when we are isolated one from the other. Lord, we lift up our prayers before you, and the private and personal prayers we carry with us to this Vesper service. Hear us as we pray. And we pray as Jesus taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. At Vespers, we always share in the sacrament of Holy Communion. In this season, when we are apart and having to share in worship virtually, we come in adoration to look at the sacrament and to remember that we share in it spiritually and to remember that Jesus has promised that whenever two or three are gathered together in my name, there he is also, especially when we gather in faith and in spirit as we do tonight. The peace of Christ be with you. Jesus said, I am the bread of life, and whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, O God, our Lord, creator and ruler of the universe. In your wisdom, you made all things and sustained them by your power. You made us in your image, setting us in your world to love and serve you and to live in peace with your whole creation. From generation to generation, you have guided us, sending prophets to turn us from wayward paths into the way of righteousness. Out of your great love for the world, you sent your Son among us to redeem us and to be the way to eternal life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with the choirs of heaven and with all the faithful of every time and place who forever sing to the glory of your name, holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God of majesty, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. As one of us, he knew our joys and sorrows and our struggles with temptation. He was like us in every way except sin. In him, we see what you created us to be. Though blameless, he suffered willingly for our sin. Though innocent, he accepted death for the guilty. On the cross, he offered himself a perfect sacrifice for the life of the world. By his suffering and death, he freed us from sin and death. Risen from the grave, he leads us to the joy of new life. Remembering all your mighty and merciful acts, we gather at this bread and this wine, gifts that you have given us, and celebrate with joy the redemption won for us in Jesus Christ. Here we remember, O oh Lord, how he shared this meal with us, saying, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way he took the cup, saying, this cup is a new covenant sealed in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do so in remembrance of me. Accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving as a living and holy offering of ourselves that our lives may proclaim the one crucified and risen. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Christ is the bread of life. Gracious God, you pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine. May the communion of the body and blood of Christ by your Spirit unite us with the living Christ and with all who are baptized in his name, that we may be one in mystery in every place. As this bread is Christ's body for us, send us now out to be the body of Christ in the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, give us peace. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
peace of God which passes all understanding now keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. As we move into this holy week ahead, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.